Is it recording? Yes, okay, hi! How you guys doing? First of all, I just wanna say huge thank you for the really kind words you've been saying on my last two videos. My phone just fell. Because these lights in my, oh, this is my room in London, by the way. If you haven't seen the house tour, then you, you know if you have seen it. These lights aren't great for filming, I'm sorting that out, but for now, I just wanted to make this video real quick. I'll tell you in advance, if you're here for like a review or super, super high quality edited video, kind of a bit like the last two ones, this is gonna be different. This is what I promised you in my last uh, video, the McLaren 600 LT review. The link's gonna be around if you wanna watch that. This is kind of like a behind the scenes bloopers kind of thing, which I, you know, thought I would put up. The thought behind it is because I kept getting a lot of messages asking for things like uh, just a, a hot lap, like a POV hot lap of the car, but that takes up a lot of time in the video. That you guys wanted to see kind of more of how we filmed it, what goes on. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna put this in a separate video and show you guys everything, because I had a bunch of content which I, I enjoyed and I thought you guys would maybe enjoy as well. I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna put it out there, see what you think, you've been asking for it, so I'm gonna, you know, just give you what you've been asking for, and if you like it, great, we can do more of these. If you don't, we can try other stuff. But I'm trying to sort of take all of your constructive criticism and, that was, that's a, that was a tough one, constructive criticism, and kind of just what you wanna see and bring that to life. So this video is a mix of just random clips, bloopers, like behind the scenes look uh, at some stuff which didn't make it into the main video. A hot lap is gonna be in there. And also mainly some kind of reviewer bits which I didn't put in the main video because there wasn't time for them in the main video. So a few more things about the car and my perspective on the car. So that's the 600 LT. Not gonna keep this intro too long. I'm just gonna roll it. Hope you enjoy it. Please let me know down below. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Here's a little recap of the long 600 LT official review, just to kind of get you in the mood. Far from Budapest, there is a very famous racetrack called the Hungaro. And that is exactly where we are right now. We're here to test drive this, the McLaren 600 LT. The real question is, the list price between the 570S and this 600 LT difference is of 36,000 pounds. The only way I can really describe this car is sick. We need a bit of a rush. How sick is this hotel? Look at that. Pressing the RS, opening my DRS so that we get some speed up. <laughs> what I've come to test drive, guys. This thing handles like no other. <laughs> Matt and I are going head to head. Yours, yours just on already. Yeah. Power. That, that would make sense. I think this one's flat. What am I on? He's in drive. Defeated by a child's toy. Oh, oh hey! Yeah. <laughs> Takes the lead. Oh no! No! Bringing you some riveting content live from the Hungara ring. I'm just tackling a chicane here. They'll only be representing. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> They'll only represent 20 to 25 percent of the sport series lineup. Change me angle. <laughs> One and they partnered up with McLaren and they partnered up with Mercedes to produce the McLaren Mercedes SLR and they partnered up with Mercedes and they partnered up with Mercedes quite a few years back to produce the McLaren Mercedes SLR a legendary car now today the car that's particularly interesting to us is this drive fast and talk at the same time. I can already feel like my lights, everything's getting a little more messy, but this car, you need to just be completely focused. It's that good. You need to give it your everything to just be able to grab a little bit of what it can do. Its potential is so, so much greater than what you can give it unless you're really a professional racing driver. Now the brakes, you really stamp on them and they just keep pushing. You feel like they're gonna run out, but they never do. You can really feel that this comes from a company that knows what it's doing when it comes to track cars. And it's interesting to hear 
how much McLaren have planned. I mean, investing 1.2 billion in research and development between right now and 2025 is a huge amount for all the cars that are going to be coming out. They've got so many great things coming. Oh, breaking hard. It feels like your eyes are going to pop out the front of your face. It's ridiculous. And then it feels like they're going right round to kind of say hello to your ears when you're going around the corner. Smacking through the gears, these lovely big paddles stuck to the steering wheel so they're always right where you want them to be. The front end, you can really feel it. You feel like you can't give it any more. Turn the steering wheel a bit more and it's there, it's ready. It's like, yep, I'm still holding on. Right, we're going over blind left-hander. This is a very fun corner. into it a bit and then accelerate Ow. Oh. it's hard to describe guys just how much better this is than the 570s and I was raving about the 570s when that came out when I drove it because it is a fantastic car don't get me wrong this is just taking things to the next level so lucky to be able to do this. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm back out the car and try and concentrate and make the most out of this experience. But I hope you've somewhat grabbed a little bit of how amazing this car is. I'm sure you've seen some other reviews and I'm sure they're all raving about this car. And I hope you've enjoyed this because I most certainly have. And as I've said before, this car is pretty fucking epic. I'm just going to cut it there real quick. Uh, yeah, I kind of hope you liked it. It's obviously quite unedited. Now that brings us on to the next clip, which is going to be a full hot lap. So right after I recorded that last clip, I just kept the cameras rolling and kind of went for it. I just want to say before, because I know a lot of you are going to comment, this is in a car I didn't really know yet, on a track I had never driven before, uh, and obviously not going sort of 100%, and I'm sure my lines are not perfect and stuff, but uh, yeah, it was just kind of a little bit of fun, and it does get cut off before the end of the lap, because I had to cool the car down before going into the pit. But anyways, here is a full lap, so you guys can see it and kind of experience it and get to know the track with me. had two little moments on camera, so that'll be quite entertaining. There we go, that's the video. I'm gonna keep the outro quite short, but I really hope you enjoyed this new format. I've got a bunch of really, really exciting stuff. Uh, I know I've been saying this for a while, but my new car is genuinely just around the corner. It's gonna be coming very, very soon. So I'm very excited to show you that. And uh, yeah, just thanks for all the support on the recent stuff. And I'll see you again very soon. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And also put the little notifications bells on because apparently some people aren't getting my videos, subscription stuff. You don't know when they're coming, my new videos. That was a really bad way of explaining it, but you know what I mean. So hit that if you want to see the latest videos. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Hey! Let's go! Back! 
Yo. Once again.